Hi Lafayette third graders, this is Miss Clark and today we're going to review lines, segments, and points and then we're going to learn about rays and angles. Yesterday you learned that a point is an exact location in space and it has no length or width. Points have names which is represented by a capital letter like this point below. This would be point A. You also learned about a line, which is a collection of points going on and on infinitely in both directions. Lines do not have endpoints and they can go vertically, horizontally, or diagonally. You know that it's a line because it has arrows on either side of it to show that it goes on and on and on with no end. You also learned about a line segment. A line segment is part of a line and it has two endpoints and includes all the points in between those endpoints. Line segment is a line that stops. It can go vertically, horizontally, and diagonally. You know that it's a line segment because it has endpoints on the end of it as opposed to arrows to show that it's a specific place. It has a start and a stop. Something new we're gonna learn about today is a ray. A ray is also a part of a line. It has one endpoint and then continues on and on in one direction. So a ray is kind of like an endpoint and a line put together. It has one definite place where it starts or stops and then it goes in one direction with no end. A ray can go vertically, horizontally, or diagonally, just like a line segment and a line. Now, I want you to open your notebooks and practice drawing a ray on your paper. We're gonna start with our end point, and then we're going to draw a line in any direction, but instead of putting another end point at the end of it, like a line segment, we're going to put an arrow. Your arrow can go in any direction, and as long as you have an end point here and an arrow, that shows that you have made a ray. Next, we're gonna talk about angles. Angles are two rays that share the same end point and they form an angle. The end point that both rays share is called the vertex. Angles are found wherever lines and line segments meet. So anytime you see one endpoint in the line going in one direction and then the line going in a different direction shows that it's an angle. You have three angles on our page here and notice that the lines are going all in different directions. It doesn't matter which direction the lines are going as long as they're all sharing that common endpoint or the vertex shows that it's an angle. All right. It's your turn to practice again, so I want you to get that same piece of paper, and we're going to practice drawing angles. We're going to start drawing a ray in any direction you want. And then we're going to draw another arrow, but we want to start that arrow on the same end point or vertex as that first ray we have. When you're done, you should have one vertex or point and then you should have two arrows coming from that point in two different directions. Remember, it doesn't matter the direction of the lines or the arrows that you're drawing, as long as they share that same vertex. So the point shows that it's an angle. There are many angles in shapes. We have a triangle here, and I see that this line and this line meet and connect at this vertex. And that shows an angle. Triangles have three angles. And squares have four angles. The corners on the squares where the two lines meet is an angle. All right, let's practice. I want you to pause the video and name the figure. On that piece of paper that you've been writing on, you're going to number one, two, three, four, and five, and you're going to name each of these figures. When you're done, go ahead and unpause the video to reveal the answers. Okay, let's see if you got them right. 
this first one, I see that it has two arrows on either side, and that means it doesn't stop in any direction. So I know that's going to be a line. Number two, I see that it's just a point, and it shows that it has a capital letter to name the point. So that's obviously going to be a point. Number three, I see that I have two lines, but these lines share a common endpoint or vertex. I remember that when I have two lines that share a common vertex, it's called an angle. Number four, it looks like a line, but instead of arrows, it has two points to show a definite start and stop place. That means it's going to be a line segment, which is part of a line. And finally, I see that there's an end point here and it keeps going and going and going. It has no stop because there's an arrow on this side. That means it's going to be a ray. You got all five right? Give yourselves a round of applause. You did a great job. Okay, let's keep practicing. I want you to look at this trapezoid and pause the video and think about how many angles we have in this shape. Remember, when we're looking at shapes, we can count the angles by finding the places where the lines on the shape meet together. Go ahead and pause the video and figure out how many angles are on this shape. Okay, boys and girls, let's see what we've got. I see here that when I look at this trapezoid, that there's two lines that meet here, two lines that meet here, two lines that meet here, and two lines that meet here. I found all the places where the sides meet together, and I count that there are one, two, three, and four. This trapezoid has four angles. All right, third graders, you did a great job today. You're going to move on to the next activity and practice identifying lines, line segments, points, rays, and angles. Remember, if you get stuck or you need a refresher, you can always come back to the video and get some extra practice. Good luck today.